Good morning, Knights! Today is August 31st, and it's Knights Silver Day. Today's lunch is pepperoni calzone or cheesy bread, green beans, choice of fruit. Tomorrow's breakfast is breakfast bagels. Today's National Day is National Zoo Awareness Day. Did you know that a spotless giraffe was born for the first time in almost 50 years at the Tennessee Zoo? Pretty neat, huh? I heard that's actually the only one in existence. Now here's Mr. Olson with the weather. Yep. All right, well, the, uh, the UV index is going to be at a 9 today with a high of 78, so fantastic weather for tanning, honestly. Uh, the low is 52, but we're going to get that weak sauce out of here, and we're just going to, we're not going to put on sunscreen. We're just going to be out here all day, baby. It's going to be a great weather day. Thanks, Mr. Olson. Nice. If you're interested in joining the TPCS robotics team, there's still time. Please grab an information packet and team application from the front office. The application deadline has been extended to tomorrow, September 1st. Our quarter one clubs will meet for the first time tomorrow. All students were emailed club lists with placements. Make sure to check them out and see what club you are in. Last night, the varsity volleyball team traveled to Sheridan High School. Here are the results. Tonight we have several games. At 5 p.m., the junior high soccer team has a home game versus Bethesda. And at 6 p.m., the junior high volleyball team has an away game versus Bethesda. The girls' varsity volleyball team plays at home versus Indiana School for the Deaf. And the junior high football team is a 6 p.m. game at Irvington Prep. Be sure to come out tonight and support your Knights. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the American and Christian flags. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again, with life and liberty to all who believe. And here's Dylan with the Devo in prayer. We all have friends, brothers, and acquaintances. Even if you're a self-proclaimed loner, there is one person whose presence you truly cherish. These relationships can be mutually beneficial, not just from a physical aspect, or maybe not physical at all, but emotional, as they provide comfort with just your company. Maybe you have a friend you can sit alone with in a room for hours on end silence, still bonding. However, it is only in human nat nature to bicker and quarrel. So what happens when we clash with the very people we rely on? Proverbs 17:17 17, 17 says, A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for times of adversity. We should love one another and stay tolerant, for it is times of adversity these very relationships are gifted to us. If this tolerance cannot be learned or manufactured, then we should look to Christ through prayer and meditation for help. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray today that we may use you as a base when our relationships start to fluctuate and falter from hardships, so that we may be exemplary of His strength and in love for us. For we alone are powerless. As Romans 12 verse 4 through 5 says, For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We thank you for this day. Thank you for everything you've given us, including your Son, whom you sent to die on the cross for our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, Dylan. Thanks for watching this morning. We hope you have a very nice day. And, and that's, that's the, the point. point. You're supposed to do the kissy face. I'm not doing the kissy face.